I have Becky Zellner here from Fluid Interiors. She is going to take part in our CET challenge. Um, here, Becky is going to start with us, and she's going to do an outdoor space that connects to an interior collaboration area. Hi, Becky. How are you today? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Um, so uh, we had a little conversation prior to this and you talked about uh, kind of learning and, and getting an interest in the work that you do today when you were in high school. Can you just share a little bit more about that? Yeah, so um, I fell in love with interior design world after attending a class in high school for interior design and I originally wanted to go to school to be an architect. Um, but then soon realized that that was not my passion and um, I turned to look more into the interior spaces and um, realized that I really enjoy making um, the interior space just a, uh, a place for people love to be and how it can change your mood and your personality or your mood for the day um, just by your like surroundings and um, how things function. Are you someone that when you walk into a waiting area or a hotel lobby or anything like that that you you instantly notice how things are, are laid out and what products are used in placement and, and kind of not judge but see the feel <laughs> that that's there do you do that kind of thing and if you do you know what is that experience like for you yeah i definitely um love going into different spaces especially those hospitality spaces um just that how it makes you feel and um how yeah <laughs> it's just um i don't know no, that, that, that's good. That's good. Um, we'll switch gears a little bit here. Um, talk to me about um, your favorite vacation that you've ever taken in your entire life. Oh, yeah. Okay. So me and my husband went to Italy for a honeymoon um, a year after we got married because we spent a lot of money on our <laughs> wedding. <laughs> um, so that was by far my favorite uh, trip we we took, um, it was about a week and a half and we went to Florence and uh, Rome and then we headed to like the Amalfi Coast and it was amazing, full of pasta and wine and... <laughs> Lovely, lovely. Yeah. Do you, do you, um, is travel something um, that you're passionate about? Do you like to, you know, go on, you know, many trips or is it kind of a, a big plan that you have to organize and, and make happen? Yeah, I love going on many trips. Um, if it was up to me, we'd probably go on a couple trips a year. Um, but unfortunately, our bank account does not allow that sure. all the time. <laughs> That's the dream, um, right? I think everybody yes. has. <laughs> yes, exactly. So. <laughs> That's wonderful. Some all right, talk warm, about too. Sure, I I hear you because you're in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So this time of year, you're it's chilly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Talk to me a little bit about where you are in the drawing process right now. What are you working on? Um, so I first just drew all the walls and added a couple of doors. Um, I'm starting to kind of lay out some ancillary products. Um, this is the interior space. Um, it is open to a little balcony out here. So I'll put some outdoor furniture. Um, so yeah. Hmm. Um, how often do you design spaces right now or have RFPs that come in um, that call for in inside and outside um, support? You know, the spaces that are looking to, to bring the outside in in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, as far as outdoor furniture, we don't get a whole lot of those in RFP re request. Um, a lot of the times, they're just looking for pricing for private offices and workstations. Um, but when it comes to like projects, I would say um, out of maybe 10 projects I'm working on, I probably have like two or three are looking for like some outdoor Space. furniture. Space. Yeah. Are you feeling like, you know, in, in kind of what's trending in the industry right now um, and where things are, are going for the workplace. A lot of places, you know, have a hybrid work environment where some people are in the office, you know, two, three days a week. Some people are full time. Some people are totally remote. Um, how are you seeing that in the way that um, 
businesses are coming to you to try to design spaces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a big um, conversation right now about how different companies are kind of um, coming back to the workplace and how they need to um, get people back in. Sorry. No, <laughs> you're line, it, gotta you're, line this up. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll give you a couple seconds to there go. focus. Okay. Back at it. Um, what is uh, your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is blue, but like a darker blue, like a navy blue. Navy blue. Okay. Do you have that um, as a pop of color throughout your home? Um, I don't. My home is actually pretty... Um, light gray white um i just painted a green hallway <laughs> green okay i mean yeah. there's there's been a couple of conversations where people people say green pretty consistently <laughs> as yeah. a as a go-to color um in in the design world and in the, in the work that you do um how do you incorporate color patterns textures um into kind of those initial responses to the requests mm -hmm. i like to throw um, I like to keep like the bigger pieces a little bit more neutral and then throw um, in like our pops of colors or um, pattern on kind of more accent things like throw pillows, wall covering, um, rugs. Um, so it's kind of how I design things. So pops of color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Becky, I think we have about one more minute left to add any kind of finishing touches and then we're going to want to see this in um all render view okay let me get some windows in here and i just want to just comment like look how easily you were able to just you know pick it and add it and there it is drag and drop yes We'll do some different flooring. Are you someone that uses many of the keyboard shortcuts in CET? I do for some things. Um, and then others, I kind of just kind of know where to click so often that I just go there. And how long have you been working in CET? Um, I've been working in CT for um, about 10 years now. So how, how have you felt about kind of the evolution and n new tools that have been added over the years and kind of the trajectory of where things are, are going and things that are adding like the twin motion extension for more immersive rendering kind of visual VR experiences? Mm -hmm. um, I think CT is going um, above and beyond all the different tools that they've incorporated and all the different extensions. And yeah, the the VR um, is a great aspect. Twin motion, I haven't gotten a whole lot into that, but I'm really excited to start getting into that. Um, I think it's just gonna enhance our ability to um, sell furniture and let people be able to see their space before it's actually built out. Um, mm -hmm. All right, Becky, let's wrap it up so we can see what you have here. All right, Becky here has her completed challenge visual for us to look at. It's a part art door space, part interior collaboration area. Becky, can you walk us through how you made this rendering? Yeah, so I added some walls, some doors, windows, um, started putting in some furniture, um, didn't get to change any of the finishes quite yet um but um what i typically like to do is go into simple mode make sure i'm in product lighting and then outline overlay is my tends to be my go-to for renderings and then i render lovely do you have any final thoughts about uh, working in ced commercial interiors or configura that you'd like to share 
Um, I guess if, um, if there's any like new people looking to get into Configura, it's really easy um, to learn and to understand. And there's always uh, different people there to support you in any way that you need it. So um, don't be afraid to just dive right in and see what you can start designing and building. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time today, Becky. Um, and we hope you have a great 2023.